What's going on everybody and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. I hope you guys are freaking ready because we are jumping into Ultimate Invasion. Coming from the creative team of Jonathan Hickman, Brian Hitch, Andrew Curry, and Alex Sinclair. The Maker is returning. The Illuminati is reforming. In Ultimate Evasion issue number one, the Ultimate Universe is trying to make its return. And Miles Morales, he seems to be the center of all of this. With Brian's work on the Ultimates help redefine the superhero comics for the 2000s. Him and Jonathan Hickman, they have a lot in store for this decade. And the transformation of the Marvel Universe, it now begins. So make sure you guys have subscribed to the channel. Make sure that you like this video. And with that being said, let's dive into this breakdown. Alright gang, so our story starts us off on Earth 616. Two months ago, the Blackguard building. Right now, we have a hit team that is getting ready to do some kind of operation. They don't know who they're working for, they don't even know who hired them. They just know that they are getting paid a crap ton of money to go and do something. To break into this facility, to get to the lower levels, using the Maker technology. They quickly infiltrate this building. Any soldiers that are standing guard, they quickly get wiped out. With gunfire, missiles going off, explosions left and right. Using the Maker technology, they are quickly able to make their way through this facility. Getting the key cards, they head down to the bottom levels. You see, this team was offered a billion freaking dollars. While their money is not here waiting for them once they get down here, there is a man. A man who happened to promise them a giant pile of money if they got him out of here. Typing in the access code, our hit team make their way into the room. This is where we have the maker, telling them that they are right on time, with them bringing the equipment that he had asked for. The hit team, the first thing they ask is about the money. And while the maker is being very cryptic, the team is a little bit concerned that this guy may not actually have the money that they were promised. And some of the team members are a little bit confused. Because are they supposed to believe that this guy from inside a prison did all of this, but wasn't able to get himself out? But the maker goes on to explain that the trick to escaping is not just getting out, but making everyone believe that you are still here. He explains that they knew he was such a big threat that one therapist he could probably manipulate. So he had a rotating team of therapists. It took him quite a time, a full 37 sessions, but he was able to mentally break and reprogram every single one of them. And then he sent them out into the world to do his bidding. Each one of these hired guns, they were recruited for the job specifically for a reason. The problem is, one of them is not somebody that he brought onto the team. One of the guys that was supposed to be here, something happened to him in the last moments. A freak accident, so they had to improvise. They had to hire somebody new onto the team. An unforeseen complication, but he had planned for overlap. The genetic sequencing was for the four of them for a reason. And so the situation will present a less than 1% anomaly. Most people might miss this, but the maker wouldn't, and neither would Mr. Fantastic. With the click of a button, we see these mercenaries, they all mash together. All of them coming together and they form the maker. Or at least, what is supposed to be the Maker. More of a clone, if anything else. With the Maker being able to walk right out of prison. Leaving the four behind that are now combined to look identical to him. He is able to make his escape and nobody knows that he even left. That's what takes us to six weeks ago. Mr. Fantastic and Black Panther here discussing what happened at this facility. The problem is they were having a lot of trouble trying to access this facility. As they begin to investigate a little bit further, they see that the government is covering something up. That they were directly involved in whatever is going on. With Black Panther's contacts letting him know that this building was hiding a secret damage control node. Almost immediately, Mr. Fantastic knows exactly what this means. 
as they are able to get underground and go to the prison that is hidden underneath. They see that the Maker is still here, or at least they believe so. But we see that body he created, it begins to break down, turns into nothing but a pile of goo. Black Panther quickly recognizing the severity of this situation. Reed Richards may be the smartest man in the universe, but now there is an evil version of him loose on this world, asking where he could have gone. Reed is less concerned about where he is, more worried about what he is doing and why. As we pick up one week later at the Baxter building, the Maker is able to break in. He breaks in and he does some investigation. That's what takes us to the next day with the Illuminati. Now, Mr. Fantastic knows that he broke in, but he's not sure what was taken. He closed the loop and covered all of his tracks. What they do know is where he went after that. Going to Wakanda and stealing Vibranium, and then going to the Inhumans and stealing four Terrigen Spheres, each one large enough with enough energy to power a whole city. After that, he stole a bridge that belonged to Reed Richards. And then somehow, he was able to make off with a mutant gateway. Gateways that are supposed to be unmovable and unusable unless you are possessing a mutant gene. Grabbing a few other artifacts, the question now remains, what is the Maker making? Now, he has grabbed multiple gateways, both a spear and a shield, almost as if there are too many redundancies. Iron Man coming to the conclusion that this is a message, a message to the inevitable gathering of the Illuminati. He wants them to know that the components he stole are unique and identifiable. He knows that they will be looking for those energy signatures, and he knows that they will know when this is turned on. Later that same day in Brooklyn, we pick up in the house of Miles Morales. With Miles asking who the heck you are, the maker is in his room. He lets Miles know that you and I are brothers. He had read it in Reed's records, some trick of universal rebirth and reality shaping. But according to the secret history, it's something every creature on this planet in this universe shares. But the Maker and Miles, they have something that sets them apart, apart from their shared history. They are the only two survivors of a dead universe, the only living children of gods erased from history. But this is something that Miles kind of already knew. The Maker going on to say that this wasn't something that he knew, not in the way that he does now. But if Miles knows, then he must feel the same itch that he does. The pull of nothingness and oblivion. The feeling of lives erased and forgotten. What he is telling Miles is that he is going home. Telling Miles that it felt wrong to go ahead and leave and not invite him along. That the Maker would like to be asked if the roles were reversed. But Miles has no want to leave this place. The Maker leaving a blank card behind saying, if you change your mind, let me know. With that, the Maker disappears. And that's what jumps us directly into the fray. With the Maker activating his device, the Illuminati now coming down on him. While Reed Richards is vowing that they are going to take him down, the Maker simply laughs at them. The truth is, they have no idea where he is going or what he is going to do. But he does promise them that by the time you figure this out, he would have already left them long behind. That his path is set. It is a course that is fixed. The bridge controller is set to purge and randomize as soon as he travels through it. But the time it would take, it's measured in years, maybe even decades for them to truly track him down. He tells them that he is going to a place that he can call his own. Some place that he can create as was intended at his creation. Reed instantly knows what he plans to do, saying that they must stop him and they must stop him now. The Illuminati hurling everything they have at him, and absolutely nothing works. They are unable to break down his barriers. As the Maker steps into that gateway, he does say one last thing to Reed Richards. That if the worlds were reversed, would he be any different? Would Reed be any different? This is why he waited. Why he left this trail for Reed Richards to follow. It was for this moment so he could ask one simple question. 
that if you could do it all again, if you could truly change things, if you had the chance, would you erase the maker from existence? A moment of pause, but Reed says yes. With the maker saying he'll keep that in mind, he steps through that portal and he disappears. This is what takes us over to Earth 6160. This is not the ultimate universe. This is something different. This is something else. We pick up with Peter Parker and Liz as we see the isotope genome accelerator being displayed. As they are preparing for the first test, Peter Parker sits here and he observes. That spider that is supposed to bite him, it slinks its way down. It gets ready to bite Peter Parker, but that is when somebody smacks it. A man grabbing hold of that spider saying that this was about to bite you. As he puts that spider into a little vial, Peter Parker has no idea what has just happened. But that person that took that spider, this stopped it from biting him. Stopped it from turning him into Spider-Man. That person is none other than the Maker. And that will be the end of this issue. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Definitely a fun issue. It is definitely nice to be jumping back into the ultimate. Now we thought he was headed back to the ultimate universe. We see now that that is not the case because the ultimate universe is Earth 1610. This is Earth 6160. A world that does have a Peter Parker, that has a Liz Allen. This is closer to the 616 than the ultimate version of events. The ultimate universe having Norman Osborn behind the spider, had Mary Jane along with Kong and Flash. But in 616, none of Peter's schoolmates had gone with him to this exhibit. This is a new plane of events. But these are rather familiar events that are playing out. It appears that the Maker is changing things on the slightest level. Just small differences. It appears that the Maker is planning to make sure that Earth's mightiest heroes never become heroes at all. And then he can reshape the universe into exactly what he wants it to be. With him stopping Spider-Man from ever coming to be. Does this mean that a Gamma Bomb never happens? A vibranium asteroid never comes. A surgeon's hands never break. There are so many questions that are left to be answered. But one thing is for certain. The Maker is 10 steps ahead. And the Illuminati, if they have any chance of catching up, they better start getting to work and getting to work quickly. So let me know your thoughts, let me know your theories, if you would like to get caught up on everything that is ongoing with Marvel Comics, be sure to check out the links in my description as well as the top of these videos. It will get you completely caught up on everything that we are covering on this channel. If you would like to support the channel, you can always do so by joining the channel membership. Much like Patreon, having multiple different tiers, from $1 to $50. From loyalty badges to comics every single month. Not only are you helping out the channel tremendously, but you are getting tons of perks in the process. If you are unable to do this, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, like this video, hit that notification bell, and with that being said, until the next breakdown.